Whoa, welcome back to Lunch with Crunch. Dad, we're doing sushi rito, so it's a sushi burrito. Uh, but it's called, the place is called Sushi Rito. And when I showed up, actually, it, I was expecting it to say Sushi Rito on the outside, but it's actually um, called Local Kitchens. And it's kind of cool. Because it has like a bunch of, it's one central location or one central kitchen. So it's like one kitchen with staff and they make a bunch of different foods from different restaurants. So they have like milk bar there. They have um, after ice cream in there, which I'm assuming is all pre-made stuff. And then there's this place called Sushi Rito um, and a couple other restaurants that have collabed, I guess, to be all made in this one kitchen, which is kind of cool. Um, but anyways, I went and got the, what is this? The Sumo Crunch Burrito. Let's check this thing out. Okay. Ooh, okay, so it's called Sushi Rito. And check this thing out. Look at that. It's a gigantic uh, California roll wrapped in like a burrito style. So it's, actually, I don't even think there's a, I don't even think there's a tortilla. It'd be kind of cool if it was wrapped in a tortilla, to tell you the truth. Let me see. Sorry, I'm like unwrapping this. Unwrap, unwrap. Okay, no. So it's literally just a giant sized sushi roll. Check that thing out. I don't know what it's covered with. I probably should have read the description. Uh, I'll have to look at the description and put it in right here. But there it is. Itakimasu. Let's get straight into this. Mmm, whoa. Okay. Yeah, that's good. It's a giant. I probably shouldn't do that. It's a thick sushi roll that isn't cut into pieces so you can eat it like a burrito. So I get it. Mmm. Oh. And I thought I was going to need soy sauce, but no. Good without it. Well, this thing's, it's pretty gigantic, actually. Mmm. But today's lunch, I'm going to ask some of the questions you guys left on one of our previous videos. So here we go. All right, so I'm going to put the picture or the caption of the, we'll put it right here for the person who commented um, and left a question. And we're going to answer some of the questions that you guys have been asking us. Um, so... Keep asking questions, leave them down below. Hopefully I'll answer your question that you left, um, but you guys left a lot of good questions. A lot of you guys repeated a lot of the, these questions, so we'll get straight into it. First question is from uh, Lori Miyamoto 6094. How much trouble do you get? How much trouble do you get in from Crunch Mom for messing up the car? Honestly, not too bad. Um, because I usually try and clean it up before we get home. Uh, so, like, if Jordan and I make a stain or something like that, we'll clean it up. Um, but sometimes we'll eat, like, fried chicken or something, and it'll land on, like, the fabric. And then it'll leave, like, a grease stain. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, what do I do? And I'll try and take it out. And so, yeah, we do have a couple stains. Um, definitely not good. Don't get too much in trouble. It's expected. Um, it's part of the caution in this job, I guess. Technically, we don't have to eat it in the car, but it's fun eating it in the car because you get to eat it like right after you pick it up. But thanks for the question. All right, next question. Let me take another bite of this. Mmm, 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 good. That sounds pretty tasty. And I thought the outside would be like hot cheetos or something but it's not i saw that it was red i thought it was gonna be a hot cheeto but it's not it's something okay um next question comes from salma 04 salma 04 asked if you were a gourmet amateur do you have any Korean or Japanese dishes to recommend? I'm assuming I'm going to interpret this as you want to know of a dish that we would recommend for someone who isn't experienced in that cultural 
culture's food. So I'll answer the Korean aspect, and Crunch Mom can answer the Japanese aspect here. Um, honestly, Korean food, a lot of it is spicy. There's a lot of things that aren't spicy, but one of the most unique ones that I could think of off the top of my head that I personally love, and I think Crunch Mom also does too, is um, um, Nigmyeon. Nigmyeon, which is Korean cold noodles. They're Korean like buckwheat noodles. It's an unusual one because it's cold noodles. Um, it's not like ramen where it's hot and the soup is not hot. It's cold. It's a beef broth and cold noodles. Usually you get like Asian pear in there, cucumbers in there. It's a little, you add some vinegar and mustard. It pairs perfectly with like Korean barbecue and kalbi. So I would say if you're first trying that, try naengmyeon or jajangmyeon, which is black Korean. Chinese black bean noodles. Um, it's like this sweet, savory black bean sauce noodles with some meat and veggies in it. That would be my ultimate for you to check. Crunch Mom would, she can leave her comments right here on what Japanese dish that you guys might want to try. But here you go. Mmm. Man, yeah, this is good. The giant California roll. I like it. Man, yeah, this is good. And this is kind of fun. I like answering questions. So leave us some questions. Doesn't have to be about Crunch Mom and I or Jordan or the family. It could just be leave us a question about anything. Okay. Mm. 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 Next question. Crunch Dad, were you born in South Korea or America? And was Crunch, bo Crunch Mom born in Japan or America? Basically, what's your nationality? First question, Crunch Dad, I was born in America. Actually, Crunch Mom and I were both born in America. Um, she was born in California. Oh, actually, both of us were born in California. Um, born and raised California, Southern California. I am full Korean. She is full Japanese, which makes Jordan and Kaya half Japanese, half Korean. So uh, there you go. Hope that answers the question. So for anyone that's new to the channel, that's what we are. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, and that question, wait, yeah. Um, and that question was from, I'm the Ducks Nuts. Interesting choice of a name. Okay, so this is going to be the last question because I'm almost done with my food. Last question of the video. <clears throat> from Dpang6180. What food do you want to try for the first time this year? Amazon driver right there. Um, what do I want to try for the first time this year? Hmm, that's a great question. Hmm, we're going to um, Japan um, later this year. So mid-year, <clears throat> we're going to Japan, and there's a bunch of Japanese food that I've never tried, or I've tried here, but I want to try it like super authentic in Japan. Uh, one of those is menchikatsu, which is a um, like a beef uh, katsu that's like f deep fried. It looks amazing. I want to try that, um, and I want to try like super fresh sushi when I get to Japan. And honestly, there's like a bunch of different bakery items, sweets and desserts that haven't that we haven't seen since the last time we've been there, or we see it on like Instagram posts. Um, like there's like this this anko or this red bean paste with dango, which is like this mochi ball, and they like take it out of a jar and it's filled with like kuromitsu, which is like a sweet um, syrup like a, a molasses a molasses syrup almost, and kinako powder, which is like a soybean powder. I mean, it looks so aesthetically pleasing, and it's so cool looking that I'm like, okay, I got to try that. Um, but menchikatsu looks delicious. I want to eat um, um, fried chicken at like the convenience stores because they're super good. And then there's also a big sausage. It's a big arabiki sausage, which is like a smoky sweet salty sausage in japan but it's huge it's like the size of a regular hot dog which doesn't seem that big compared to american hot dogs because 
America's hot dogs are, you know, but adabiki sausage usually are like this big. And then the Japanese, the big adabiki sausage is like a giant sausage, which, man, that thing is delicious. And I want that with a little bit of that mustard and ketchup which comes in this cool little packet. Mmm, that's so good. But yeah, that's, those are, those are, I'm, I'm excited for Japan, if you can't really tell. I love Japanese food. Um... And the culture and everything over there is so awesome. Um, so I'm super excited that we're going to be going and we're taking Jordan back. Jordan actually went when he was like 10 years old. And then, uh, or 10 years old, 10 months old. And then um, this is going to be Kaya's first time and she's three. It's going to be so cool. Um, I'm super excited. We're going to go to Tokyo. We're going to go to Kyoto. We're going to go hopefully to like amusement parks like Disneyland out there. Um, they have like an Ampama Museum. Super excited for that. I know this is all about food and what do you want to try for the first time. First time, I think, I don't think I've ever had menchikatsu because I want to hold off until I get it in Japan. So there you go. All right, guys. Well, that's it. I finished off my Sushi Rito from Sushi Rito. Oh, my Sumo Crunch Burrito from Sushi Rito. Um, honestly, pretty darn good. I was expecting it to be wrapped with a tortilla. I don't know why. Maybe because of the whole burrito aspect of it. Um, but honestly, it's just a gigantic sushi roll. Which, it's still good. But I really kind of want... I should have... You know what? I should probably order one and take it home and wrap it with a burrito or a tortilla. And see how it tastes. I bet you it still tastes delicious. Man, that sounds like a good idea. Anyways... Um, that's it guys. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys leave us some more questions down below. I will try and answer them on the next video. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys. Bye-bye.